Hey everyone, and welcome to another video edition by Solid Shell Security. And we're going to be somewhere on cPanel when we're talking about mail scanning emails and stuff. Um, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this plugin, Mail Scanner from Config Server. Uh, it's actually a two piece install. Uh, there's, this is the back end. The, the back end is completely free. It's, you know, command line interface, you know, SSH editing and accessing. It's, it's back end like that. Um, then we have the front end edition. Uh, this was actually, we actually got a, a license from them. So, uh, thanks guys for sending us a license key so we can actually try this thing out. Uh, but once you've installed the first bit, you get to install the second, which is the front end for cPanel. The one thing we do want to talk about real quick is in order to use this, we need to go under the manage plugins and we want to make sure we do not have the clam AV connector installed. If you do, make sure you uninstall it and remove it before proceeding with installing the mail scanner. Once installed, we we went through and we did the entire install process. It took about, I think, 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes at the most. I want to say more like 5, 10 because it installs like a bunch of modules and stuff because it's parole based. So it took a while, but eventually installed and we ended up with this nice little uh, front end. We also went ahead and updated um, Clam AV and it looks like there's actually another Clam AV edition already needs to be installed. But anyway, it was very simple. We just click that and it installed Clam AV very, very nicely. Uh, no command line editing, no command line anything, it took care of it, which is very, very nice. Uh, we've also got the ability to install and update the front end of the mail scanner itself. Alright, so we have the mail scanner itself. Um, we can access the mail watch. Um, we can do the status and we got the, you know, the start stops. Uh, we can also watch the mail log. Um, it's got a complete refresh system too, so you know you can actually tail everything and actually take a look at it which is very very nice very very helpful too and we can also view the queues too so we get to see the incoming and outgoing that's also very nice uh, we also have the ability to view the different rule settings and we can also if we have C panels we can modify them individually as well and we can also do um, you know an update on the rule settings and get updates which is also very nice everything here is very very simple one button click so it's very easy to use and uh, the, now it's the configuration here is going to take a while uh, you can actually go through and pick the individual ones you want to go through otherwise you are looking at a very very big massive massive list that has to be configured now now what Mail Scanner apparently is doing is it's taking uh, Clam AV. Uh, it's also using uh, Spam Assassin. The Spam Assassin rules were down here too. So it's taking all of them and just using them all together as well. So it's got a lot of power. It's got a lot of of ability to basically you know send spam, um, send the reports out, uh, logging. I mean it, it's got a lot of a lot of power, a lot of capabilities. So if you really want to cut down on like your spam and viruses and stuff for your users, uh, it's it's a very nice little thing. Um, especially if you really don't want to, have to go through and do the command line stuff, it's it's pretty nice. Uh, we've not actually had a chance to actually test it in a real setup uh, with a thousand couple clients. Uh, we personally just end up using Spam Assassin. And we just have Spam Assassin and configure the rules and customize them all, and we just go off that. So we have not actually, you know, used Mail Scanner on a live production at this time. We also have not and do not use Clam AV. Uh, we just use blacklistings and um, databases and some custom configurations. And we just block the spam and viruses before they even hit the server and in the mailboxes, but if you're not really into like using spam assassin don't understand how to use all that and you don't have the time to learn it, you don't want to pay someone to do it uh, you can look into spam I mean mail scanner uh, now 
it's a good possible option. I don't know what the exact price scene is on this one. Okay, here it is. It's it's forty five dollars a server. So if you want to use it, you can. It's it's a nice little front end, but we just wanted to like show it off to you guys. So for those of you who are wondering about it, this is what it is, and that's gonna conclude this video. Um, up next, we're gonna be doing the CSX exploit scanner they've, that we've got license key on to. We're gonna check that one out. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe, follow us, and like us on Facebook, and you know we got a lot of cool stuff coming out. So thanks for watching, guys.